friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are unboxing a very magical box indeed. That's right, it is the wizarding trunk. This is the Owlery Crate. I'm loving, loving the royal purple colour of this box. It's giving Ministry of Magic. This theme is the magical authorities. That's right, I'm very excited. Now, before we get started, just to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by the wizarding trunk. That's right, and I do in fact have a cheeky little magical discount code for you guys. If you like what you see in today's video and you want to get your very own wizarding trunk for yourself, well, I got your back because I got a discount code, which is... <gasps> Magical family. That's right. If you use this code, this will get you some money off your very own wisdom trunk. So without further ado, we're going to get going. And just a little disclaimer as well, that this box and any of its contents in this video are not Wisdom World official products, but I'm excited. Honestly, I'm ready for some magic. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, because we've got magical treats to discover. Okay then, let's get unboxing the Owlery Crate. Firstly, can we take a look at this beautiful box? I'm loving all of these stamps on there. We've got a confidential stamp here. We've got many stamps all around. We've even got the Magical Authorities logo here, Ministry of Magic Inspired. Let's just open it. Let's just open it. Okay, okay. <gasps> ooh, ooh, okay. This is intriguing me. We've got lots of wiggly worms. You guys know how I feel about those. Okay, I'm going to start with whatever this is. Right, we've got a little black box and it says unlocking magic. Love the design. We've got a little keyhole here. So better get my wand out and alohamora. Okay, <laughs> let's open this on up then and see what is inside. It's a very lovely looking box. It's it's ooh. Okay, it's one of the wizarding trunk keys. This must be to the Ministry of Magic, perhaps. It's a very straight looking key. It's a different key to usual. Normally you have these little spokes coming out this way, but here is the key. It's on a little keyring. This one's definitely a little bit smaller than usual. It's a little bit lighter and less clunky. I have said before, I'm not the biggest fan of the keys from the Wizarding Trunk, but that's just personal taste. What do you guys think about this key? I quite like the little red detailings that we have in there amongst the kind of dark metals and it does say that this is a minister key so maybe this is the key to the minister's office Ooh, it could be imagine 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 having the key to that office the power you would hold okay let's pop this in i quite like the little box because we don't normally get the keys in boxes let's pop that back in there and let's see what else is in this trunk okay <gasps> I know what this is because I bought one of these when I went to LeakyCon. There is a wonderful maker of these and they're very useful. Okay, I'm going to show you what this looks like first. Any guesses to what it is? Maybe you might not know. Okay, firstly, it's engraved in the kind of Ministry of Magic emblem on there, which is actually very nice. It's also riveted. We have a little keyring here to attach this to maybe your belt or maybe a bag. This is a wand holder so you can place your very own wand in here and it will hold it at the handle so you can have that. You can loop this onto your jeans pocket perhaps. I'm not wearing jeans today. I'm wearing, I'm wearing fluffy pajamas. <laughs> this is a really lovely wand holder this is actually really gorgeous this might have to be one of my favorites because i really like the idea of just traveling with my wand attached to me these are perfect if you want to go to universal and you have one of the interactive ones or just a wand of your own they're really lovely it means that you don't have to carry it in your hand all the time but you can always be prepared if you need to duel anybody so there we have it a lovely wand holder wizarding trunk you've excelled yourself that's very nice it's in this kind of like dark very dark forest green i think it would have been cool if it was in purple but i love the color i think it's really nice it's very beautifully made this is in i believe a faux leather 
yeah, that's definitely a faux leather. It doesn't smell like leather at all. So there we have it. Nice wand holder, pleased with that. That's a great product to get in a box like this. Right, we have a mystery box, which is brown. Okay, I have no idea. Is this maybe gonna be, oh, I'm not gonna guess. I'm not gonna guess, because it probably won't be right. I was gonna say it might be the potion. Ooh, looks like I was good at guessing. Okay, let me just take off this bubble wrap. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, let me just shake, oh my goodness. Can you see the magic in that? Okay, so this is called Veritas, which I'm assuming is short for Veritas Serum. This is the Truth Serum, and it says three drops per dose. This is by the Pure Blood Apothecary. I've gotta say, this is one of the prettiest kind of potion colors that have come out of a wizarding trunk. Like, that is beautiful. It looks, it kind of looks like the memories when you get your wand and you take a memory out. I think that's gorgeous. That, oh, it's just mesmerizing to look at. The kind of luster that they put inside these, it's so effective. And that is going straight onto my potion shelf. That is so pretty. We've got a kind of silver wax here. Got some twine around there. Lovely label, but I think the most beautiful thing is the potion itself. I mean, oh, it's just magical. <laughs> okay, let's have a lucky dip and see what's next. Okay, we've got another mystery box in white. This is lovely. Okay. This is very lovely. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god, it's lovely. This is going onto the shelf. So I have a umbridge slash ministry of magic shelf down here and this is going on here. So this is a money box. You put your coins in there and it does have a little stopper on the bottom. This is a London telephone box and it's really pretty. This is a, I've not seen anything like this in a magical subscription box before, but it's a really lovely idea because this is the entrance to the ministry. That's right. If you type in on the number pads, the word magic, you know how we used to text. I'm sure at my age here, when we used to text, if you want the letter C, you would have to press the number, is it number one or number two? Like three times to get to a letter. Like texting was a, it was a sport back then. And the same thing applies to this. You have to spell out magic on the keypads and I just think this is such a clever idea it's really nice I think that's such a lovely idea it's a really lovely size for our magical shelves as well that just made me smile it's just really made me smile I really really like that good one wizarding trunk okay okay oh oh we've got a special box here it's got gold foiling oh yes and it says the wizarding trunk. It's a lift off lid. Not sure what to expect in here. Must be special, because it's got a special box. Okay, I'm excited. Are you ready? That is special. That is gorgeous. This is a wax stamp kit. So first of all, we have a wax stick. So you can light this and then it will just drip onto your page. So that's one way of getting the wax off. I've never seen one of these with a wick down the middle. Normally I just cut them up and then put them into my little wax melting spoon, but I guess this is clever because not everyone is gonna have their very own wax kit already. So this kind of takes out the fuss of it, I guess, but that's a beautiful color, a very, very lovely deep royal purple, really nice. Now, let's take a look at the stamper itself. First things that I'm noticing is the beautiful colored handle. It's a beautiful lilac. Oh, guys, it's gorgeous. It's a really nice size as well. Here it is, here it is. Oh, that is so shiny. Niffler's gonna want this. Oh my god, that's so cool. So I can send all of my official documents now with a minister approved wax seal. So there we have it. That's really nice. I love the kind of beautiful purples. I think that's a very nice product. I think that's really lovely to have in a box with this theme. That's gorgeous. Oh, that's going with the rest of my wax seals because would you believe I have a lot of wax stamps now. I have a little collection on the go. I don't know what this is, but I know that when I turn it around, okay. Wow. 
Okay, it says magical law department head. So this is like a sheriff's badge and you can in fact put that on a belt or clip it or I think this is Velcro. Hang on. Oh, there we have it. You can Velcro this onto something or over a belt as well. So there are many ways to wear this. I love that there's like a dragon on the top of there. This is really cool. I like this. This is a unique idea for the Ministry of Magic. Having it's like a, it's just like a sheriff's badge. I think it's very very cool indeed. You could be like, excuse me, have you got any proof? Yes, I'm from I'm from the magical law enforcement. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is in there. I think this might be this month's pin. First things first, it is double clasped, which usually means that it's a pretty good size. Let's turn it over. <sighs> Why did you have to do that? Why did you have to do that? That is, um, I'm assuming Sirius that's gone through the veil. That scene, guys, when Harry starts screaming, I cry every time. That's not even a lie. I cry every time. Oh my God. My <laughs> fun fact, my dad started reading Harry Potter. He started reading it last year. He, he read the first one. This year he's read the second one and he's already started the third. So he's got so much, he's got so much pain and emotional turmoil to go through. But either way, yes, that is um, heart wrenching. So thank you very much, Wizarding Trunk. You've, you've ruined my day, but it's a beautiful pin. <laughs> it's a gorgeous pin, but oh my God. <laughs> Okay, we've got oh a book cover. Now, I did hear a little owl may have told me that there are more book covers coming, which may or may not be for the British versions. Let's take a look. Firstly, this pattern is Ministry of Magic. Let's roll it up. Oh, oh, gold foiling, gold. I think if this fits the Philosopher's Stone, the unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. Ooh, okay, that's a really nice cover. I've said in previous videos that I am getting a little tired of these covers. I think this must fit the Philosopher's Stone because that looks like the right size. Now, I do have two of these and they are a little bit different in size. So this is the OG Harry Potter book. This one in particular is old. This is from 1997. This is basically a relic. So I'm just gonna put that up to one side. These are the new ones, the kind of normal ones in the UK now. And I think this is probably likely to fit this book. Okay, so I think I am correct because this is a perfect fit. I believe for the UK edition of the Philosopher's Stone. So I imagine that we'll be getting maybe six more of these. There we have it. That's what the cover looks like on the book. That's what the book looks like in its cover. If you like it, I like the theme of this one and I like that we're back to gold foiling because I'm not the biggest fan of the colored foils and silver's okay, but nothing beats gold, does it? I mean, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Right. I'm gonna be opening this last because it's exciting me. So let's take a look at, ooh, what is this? We have got ourselves, ooh, we've got ourselves a coin. Okay, so here's the coin. Ooh, that's very nicely cast. It says, issued to senior ministry officials, NFA DMT. And then on this side, we have got what looks to be a fireplace using flu powder. Um, I'm guessing this is the Department of Magical Transportation. Um, not sure what NFA stands for. Any guesses? Leave them in the comments down below. We've got a wand, we've got a broom. It's a really lovely coin. It kind of reminds me of the shape of our 50 pences over here, but it's definitely bigger than those but yeah it's a nice little thing can't wait to read about it okay something in here is exciting me oh yes look at this look at this you guys know i love stationery you know that i'm a to-do list connoisseur that's right okay so this is interdepartmental memo monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday we've got a priority list with what looks to be flu we've got our to-do list we've got notes We've got potion and hydration, a shopping list and owls to send. Well, isn't that spectacular? We've got a whole 
notepad of these and I love the colour and it's a really good size. It's not quite A4, I don't think. I think it might be a little bit shorter than A4 but that is a fantastic size for a desk and I just love a to-do list so for me that's a hit. Really like that a lot. Okay, oh we've got exciting things. Okay, oh I've seen something similar to this before. I think maybe by the wizard trunk. So we've got some Ministry of Magic kind of documents here. Is this going to be a replica? So this says that it is a blood report. It says Department, the Magical um, Registration Commissions, file number. Okay, let's have a little browse. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. This is our very own wand registration permit. So there we have it. And you can fill out what your wand core is what your weaknesses are, the wood type, the detailed description, the spells that have been most cast on this wand as well. I mean, look, they've even got gorgeous printing on the back. They don't leave any details out. Really like the design of that. We've also got, oh my God, this is like a full file of a witch or wizard. So it says Magical Registration Commission, Blood Status Report. So this is like a birth certificate kind of thing and what your blood status is so your date of birth all of the information there we've got a front and a side photograph um <laughs> marks and scars oh this is lovely this is really cool it's kind of like your lineage of magicalness then we have a is this a family tree it's a family tree a very magical family tree Oh, this is cool. This is a really nice prop. This is making me want to get back into doing flat lays. I'm not gonna lie. Really nice. You could also use this little file for your own little documents if you want, if you're doing studies and that kind of thing. Okay, let's move on to this mystery box then because how fun does this look? Okay, really like the box design. It's kind of like a ministry crate. Boxes like this usually have good things inside. Ooh! Okay. Wow. I... Wow. Look at this gosh darn statue. It's a beautiful statue. Is this meant to be the take on the statue that's in the ministry? Because that is pretty gorgeous. We've got a centaur here at the back. This looks like real gold. It's not, but it's very well done. We've got um, a house elf. We've got a wizard. We've got witches on there. We've got the goblins on there as well. I mean... If that's not the most beautiful kind of statue replica, I mean, that's really beautiful. Like, that is gorgeous. Okay, I can't wait to read all about these. Um, let's take a look at the cheat sheet, shall we? Oh, oh, I've, I've missed one. Come back, I've missed one. I missed one. This is a magistration, like registration, but magistration identity card and oh look you, it's your identity card it's, it's basically like having your magical driver's license identification please and then you whip this out and it's got like your description it will have photos fingerprints as well that's really cool that would be really cool to have in like your your handbag with you imagine going to like a bar being like i see your identification please and then you're just like and they're like what is that <laughs> Classic muggles, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now we're on to the cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, number one was An Unspeakable Guide to Magical Mysteries. This cover fits the second UK house edition book. I must have missed the first one because I do not have that. But um, I also don't have the house edition. But Oh, yes, I do actually. I think they mean that it's meant to fit this book but they are the same size as the normal UK edition. So this also fits the Philosopher's Stone as well, which is quite cool. Then we had a magical travel coin. It says only senior ministry officials may travel directly into the ministry. Keep this coin on you at all times. Number three is actually missing and I was told about this. So there was a little bit of a mishap in the warehouse when they received this item 
was the next A to Z Magical Creatures page, but they got a little bit wet. Someone had clearly been having fun with the Aquamenti spell. This is the Manticore and Mer Person Creature page. It says a page torn from Magical Creatures A to Z. Um, so we don't have that today, but they did say that it will be in either your next trunk or if you weren't fully subscribed, they will mail it to you separately so that you don't miss out. Number four was the Daily Memo Pad. And it says perfect for planning your day at work, home or school. Number five was a portrait pin. The newest portrait pin, perfect for growing your collection. <sighs> I noticed that you didn't write how sad this pin was. Number six was the wand holster. All wands must be properly secured during work hours. I like your thinking, that's very cool indeed. Then we had the work ID card. This ID card must be completely filled out before your first day of work or else you'll end up in Azkaban. Or worse, expelled. Um, number eight was the truth serum. Veritas means truth and that's exactly what this serum forces you to tell. This virtually clear potion is almost undetectable and highly regulated. Number nine was the minister key. This key allows access into the minister's office. We guessed correctly. Number 10 was the minister's wax seal. Documents stamped with this seal come directly from the minister himself. Number 11 was the telephone booth coin bank. Perfect for holding both magical and non-magical coins. And number 12 was an entry statue. This statue welcomes all visitors. Number 13 was the department head badge. Congratulations on your promotion to magical law department head. Mm. Thank you very much. And last but certainly not least, we had the magical documents. These documents must be completed while questioning those who may be lying about their magical abilities. Okay, so overall we had 14 items in this wizarding trunk. Let's talk about our favourites in just a moment, but also the next bi-monthly theme is professors, which is rather exciting. And also the back of this cheat sheet is... Um, another like thing that you can fill in which is quite fun okay let's talk about favorites then one of my top favorites in this box was the telephone box i think it's really awesome it's gonna look perfect on my ministry shelf i think that's really really cool I actually really loved the statue as well. It looked very gold and I thought I recognised what it was meant to be instantly. I think my top favourite has to be though, the wand holder, because this is practical. I bought a couple of these the other month. I had one that you could attach to your belt and then I had another one and I can't remember. I'll have to dig them out. Either way, I've got the wand holster collection on the go now. These are so useful. And if you if you didn't get this box and maybe you are interested in your very own wand holsters, you can buy them online. I think they'll probably be found on Etsy and that kind of place. But yeah, wand holsters. If you never knew they existed, now you do. And honestly, if you love carrying wands, these are perfect. So yeah, overall, I think this theme was a really fun one. I also think it was a pretty strong box as well. But hey, as per usual, it's not just about my thoughts, it's about what you think as well. So get your fingers at the ready, leave a comment down below of what was your favourite item, what was your least favourite item, and I guess I will see you in my next video. Before you go though, maybe you would like to give this video a magical thumbs up if you got this far and you enjoyed it. It really helps me and my channel out. Thanks for spending some time with me today and I will see you soon. Bye! Oh, it's so cute. Fun little fact, a lot of these red telephone boxes in England have now been discontinued, like discontinued, is that the right word? As telephones and they now have de defibrillators in there, which is like if someone's having, is it if they're having heart attacks or something, it's a health thing and you can like zap them. So they've been repurposed in England, which is quite cool. <sighs> right, off I go to the ministry, ta-ra.